Welcome Aquarius to your in-month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you at the end of the month. for the energy, what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Let's see what's going on. And here we go. Oh, look at that. The Queen of Wands. You have that positivity, that growth, feeling very intuitive, very sure of situations around you. If you're with your family, you're investing a lot of creative time with your family, really putting them as number one right now. Um, kind of dropping the, the um, having to be at work all the time. You, you see what I'm saying? Like you're investing more energy and more time into the family. It's not really a time right now for you, Aquarius, to be so much worried about uh, the money, um, working that overtime. You're like, I'm investing my time with my children, my husband, uh, my family, you know, maybe even my friends, however it is, just feeling like you are more sociable um, and keeping that communication alive and just very lively over here, um, <clears throat> doing the best that you can. It's almost like I put a lot of effort. For those of you who have a family, it's like I already did a lot of effort within my job, and now it's time to, you know, bring more and invest more into my family relationships. So that's for those of you who have family, that think, and that's where the growth is really coming from in that area as well. So very beautiful. Um, for some of you, too, there could even be a um, Leo surrounding you who is also investing the time into you as well, right, as you're still sitting over here, um, all beautiful. But I do see, no matter what, the positivity within you, that creativity. Oh, yes, very communicative. Look at that throw shocker for the overall message of the reading um, resonating on that Queen of Wands saying, yes, it's a community of time, uh, networking friends, family, getting out there, investing that communication, really wanting to uh, communicate. Wow. So it does feel like a huge communication for you at this time. Wow. A lot of interaction. Okay. We're getting into that fall, right? And you have that Libra, um, you know, you're Aquarius, but having that Libra air coming through, Libra's a very... Just the Libra energy itself is very communicative. Um, so really taking on that air energy um, from that uh, beginning of the fall, uh, really feeling that, that Libra. Some of you might even have Libra in your chart. Okay. Rebuild. Feeling like you have to rebuild. You want to rebuild the communication. Like I said, for somebody, it feels like you've been hard at work. You're getting all the money and getting all these other things done. So it just feels like you need to rebuild um, and within the communication, like maybe I haven't been as communicative as I needed to be because um, I was so focused over here and over there, really feeling that a lot. So you feel like it's time right now to rebuild um, these areas. Seeking the truth in the recent past could have been a week ago, a couple of days ago. Okay. And the love. Wow. Look at that love coming through. Um, under the rebuild, we have moving, refusing to see in the recent past and Daydreams and decisions coming underneath for the near future. So you have to love with the daydreams and decisions. We're going to start here in the recent past. And when we get this idea of going on. Now we have a lot of communication going on over here. But it feels like it's a different kind of communication. There's like one kind of communication. Like I said, for a lot of you, it feels like it's a work environment type of communication. Uh, versus this communication that you're bringing on over here. We have communication and all these communication. Um, seeking the truth within this communication, it's I'm seeking, I'm opening the doors to seek the truth of where I need to be, what's going on around me. Let's see. Refusing to see, feeling like you're at an impasse. Let's see what's going on. Queen of Swords. Ooh. Okay.
Could have been in the recent past that you were having a hard time communicating with a person. Could be another air sign or a Capricorn. Could be a, a Gemini, another Aquarius, or a, or a Capricorn. I really feel like it's either a Gemini or a Capricorn. Could be, like I said, could even be a Leo. Who knows, right? But the energy coming through is that seeking the truth of why this person is not opening up. Um, there is kind of the sadness of not having the communication that you need, really weighing the two of coins over here. Um, having some inner battles um, and refusing to see that you are kind of stuck at an impasse. You are kind of stuck um, within a situation and needing to choose um, where you want to be. within the communication. So it doesn't feel like the communication is really 100% there. But I need to move towards this communication. I need to make better choices. I need to do something. There needs to be something done. Um, and it does feel like there's some internal battles when it comes to this um, seeking the truth of how I'm going to open up to this person or get back to this person, um, which does make you kind of sad. And it, it feels like they're kind of sad too. Um, it feels to me, Aquarius, that you put a lot into your job and or a lot of energy and something of somewhere else right <clears throat> besides maybe this friend this family this loved one um and it just feels like you're, you're really doing whatever it is that you need to be doing on a personal level um like i said whether it's you know work maybe having to take care of someone else however it is take it how it resonates but it makes this other person very upset very sad but i do see the sadness within yourself as well wanting to communicate wanting to give more attention towards this area um, in the recent past, but it just, yeah. There's a codependency, that's why it feels like it, it's work. Like I had to give a lot of attention and a lot of time to my work um, because I am very codependent to my job. Of course you are, it's your job. But it makes you feel like maybe there was too much of a codependency, like it drove me away, right? Whatever this situation is, it kind of drove me away from my loved ones it, it drove me away from the places that i want to be and you're kind of like realizing it right you're realizing it maybe a week ago so it's almost like you feel like you you want to do something about it you want to rebuild it you want it to transform your job your job kind of pulled you away from it So with the rebuilding over here, it's like you want this transformation and you have this spark in the energy within the Queen of Wands. It's like this, this spark in this energy just kind of came out and you're like, you know what? It's time. I'm going to do this. And you're moving towards that. It's, it could be that maybe the work now load is slowed down a little bit from the summertime. So now is like the perfect timing to rebuild, to rebuild the relationship, look at that and transform it the way you want it to be transformed. Bringing in the creativity, the fun, the, the enlightenment, the, the happiness, the interaction. Self-will and determination. There's a lot of self-will and determination to have to go through this. You're saying, I'm not going to be sad about this anymore. I'm going to give more. So right now, it's like I'm giving more to this, to this relationship, whatever your relationship is, right? Like I said, whether it's your kids, your family in general, your loved one, whoever. Your friends maybe it's just a sad friend right who feels like you got away um and you haven't done anything with them so you're going to be more determined to rebuild the situation and transform it into the communication that you need and that they need wow king of wands wow with the king of wands coming up though for you aquarius it's really showing this passion that you really and desire that you really want to get this done that you really want to move towards it. Opening up all these options for you guys, right? Through the communications, getting, getting that communication going, really opening up the doors over here for this communication, um, really giving it a lot over here. It feels like you giving them extra days, extra time, giving yourself extra time, extra days. Could be dealing with Scorpio. However it is, it's just giving the extra you. Oh. 
very beautiful. How do they feel about that as they're moving? I'm sure they love that, right? Oh, heck yeah, they love that. Look at that. Queen of Queen of Coins. There's that cor a Capricorn coming up again. Um, but yeah, th this is, they like this. This is where they feel nurtured. They feel like you're nurturing them. They feel like you're participating within them, giving them extra time. They're feeling the love from you. Um, feeling like you're, um, wow. It's very simple, right? It's kind of a simple feeling. It's not like really right. You know what I mean? It's not like um, rushing through, right? It's just the simpleness, the simple time. And they know that they realize that you're actually taking a little more time off of work, but they also realize that you're giving them the extra attention with the three of coins and they really like this. Um, and yeah, this is all they've really wanted. It feels like with the seven of wands, they might've even been bugging you a little bit for this extra um, attention. Um, but they're loving the attention. They feel like they've needed this attention. This is the attention that they wanted, but it also feels Aquarius like it's the attention you know you needed to give, but that you also desired, right? I need to give this person more attention. I need to have more attention, right? I'm just tired of working, 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 and not having any fun, right? Um, so I did feel like for them that it was kind of a challenge to kind of get you to give them the attention that they seek. Um, but now it, it feels more, like I said, more peaceful, more nurturing. Wow. And you're making good money, right? You're still making the good money. You still have all the coins, um, you know, so it's not like you're losing out on anything Aquarius, right? You still get to go to work. You can, you can go to work with the three of coins and give them the attention that's needed because it feels like you have a little more time on your hands. You're not so busy, um, you know, so it doesn't feel like you're 100% challenge mode to have to try to give them attention and you go to work and do this, do that, do this, right? Where you're kind of like pulled in different, um, different directions and fragmenting your energy all over the place. Um, tired, exhausted. I can't really do this. No, it feels like there's more peace over here that you're actually being able to do what you need to do. Communicate the way you want to communicate, the way they want you to communicate and still be able to communicate at work and do what you're supposed to do. So it's very beautiful. You have the extra time because you have the extra time and the extra doors over here with the seven of cups saying, I can multitask. I'm, I'm doing just a great job over here of doing this. And this is something I really wanted. And I know it's good for them and me. And this is really where the love really starts to shine through. Um, like I said, and it doesn't matter if it's a friendship and the friendship is growing or the love of the family is like kind of coming back together and they feel like, you know, mommy and daddy's home more. Um, I see my, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, my wife more. However it is, um, you know, whether it's this partnership, it's, that's, you know, it's just allowing you, it could even be seeing your mother more. You see what I'm saying? Maybe your mom misses you and you're like, I'll be there with you, mom. But, you know, but then you never get there. So take it how it resonates, but it's building this beautiful relationship back to where you want it to be. Um, and everybody is feeling the love. Everybody is feeling the happiness. Everybody feels like you're united in the way that they want to be without anyone being separated, you know, and, and kind of all over the place. How long is it going to last before you end up having to go back to where you were before? You know, we cherish the moments we have now because before you know it again, Quaris, you never know, right? Work might pick up the pace and I'm right back to where I started from. It's like a, a lot of times with work comes to communication and stuff, it's just a cycle. So it's like cherish the moments that we have now because next month might be really, really busy and I might not be able to have the time. You know, maybe I work on call and I don't have Saturdays and Sundays because I'm on call. Um, you know, there's different things that go on. Um, so it's like cherishing the moment while you have it. And Spirit is really 100% like rebuild it, cherish it because you don't know when you're going to be busy again. Daydreams and decisions. Now, I love that because it's almost like it's putting you in this place to where it's like, I'm really enjoying this. This time, I would like to make more decisions on how to keep this, how to keep this more like this without getting so separated into this work area or this area or that area, whatever's pulling you apart, right? Maybe it's, 
It's even just being with the kids all day. Oh my gosh, let's think about that one. If you're a new parent and your kids, your kids, right? They keep you awake. I have a, a newborn baby. I have a one-year-old, a two-year-old. I don't get to go have fun with my friends um, because I'm, you know, mom, dad, I'm taking care of these kids and they take up all my time. Now you get to go out and enjoy. So now maybe you can try to find um, these days where you can go out with the girls or the boys or, you know, and try to enjoy yourself a little bit more. Um, Cause yeah, being a new parent too, I see that too. They take you away from sometimes feeling like in a person, right? Without just being mom, right? And I'm changing diapers and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I need a day off, right? So now you just feel like maybe someone's coming in, right? Maybe this Scorpio is helping you. Maybe they're watching the baby. You can take it so many different ways, guys, right? So take it how it resonates, but I'm just telling you right now, it's something that's taking you away from, from this type of communication. And now you want to decide on how, how am I going to be able to do this again? Is there going to be a day where it's fair to me? Can we get this balance? Can we have this justified? It's very justified that this love is coming together for this relationship and maybe even just me feeling like me with these other people, um, however it is. But you want to find the fairness and you're trying to get it balanced in the near future because you're enjoying it so much. You want to keep it alive. Yes, the king of swords, look at that. You and your own energy over here going, yes, I want to think about how I'm going to do this because I really do believe that this person is the right person for me. This place is the right place for me. It's very energizing. And I really want to think logically and plan on doing this and keeping this within my routine as much as I can. Now, everybody knows it wouldn't probably be able to be every weekend. You might have this Libra over here or whoever this other person is going, so we're going to do this next weekend? Um, no, sorry, not next weekend. <laughs> next weekend, I'm on call. No matter what, right? Or next weekend, I have to take the kids to soccer or football games or how, you know what I'm saying? So you still know that you're still responsible or the things you have to do, you're just allowing more time and you're thinking, well, let me think about this. Let me get my schedule. Let me plan. I'm going to plan. I'm going to start planning on doing this instead of just saying, you know, I want to go do this. I really want to go visit mom and dad. I really want to go hang out with Susie and the girls or Mike and the boys, right? But never getting to it. So now it feels like you're more kind of planning on it because you did enjoy it so much, right? Or really spending that extra time with the children. Um, you know, having game days, whatever it is. But there is this more logical planning. And so you're saying, huh, you check my schedule, right? And start scheduling these things because you're enjoying it. And that's going to keep you very in your own energy and very happy because Aquarius likes to be, they're swords, they're communicative. I want that kind of communication, but I'm also very responsible and very logical. Hey, but I've also got work to do and this to do. But, well, now start balancing it out. Taking, there you go. Taking the decision time, looking at it from a different level, saying, you know, I can do that. And it will give you your ace of cups. And this is the dreams and decisions. See, look at all that. Look at all the decisions you get to make. Trying to keep it, I mean, look at every one of these are error. Trying to make that decision. Trying to work this, this in because you, it was something you did find is good for you. I wouldn't really put it under day, daydreams. I'm going to put it under decisions because it's more like not going to be daydreams. It's going to be more logical decisions, but the logic is going to come from the heart chakra because it is things that you do love, right? Because you enjoy your time trying to figure that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Now, look at that. And that, look at that, going to make a new beginning. And it's almost like you're telling yourself, you know, I enjoyed this. I rebuilt this to do this. So I do like the new beginning of the what the communication, taking action within this relationship. Look at that with the family, the Ten of Cups. Look at that. That's exactly what it is. The people you consider family. The things that you enjoy. Bringing in that extra satisfaction for yourself without just grinding yourself to the stone all the time. And it doesn't matter what it was, right? 
and there you are. And that will, it will bring in the wheel of fortune of change, you know, as you're thinking about this. So make sure that you are thinking about this, Chris. You know, you love it, you enjoy it. Try to main, um, try to work it in. That's a good way. Work it in, right? Weave it into your schedule as much as you can. Right? It's time. It's time for you to in, enjoy and relax and have some good old family fun over here, or friendship fun. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.